now for the microphone the microphone Now for the microphone it also works with 12 volts, goes along with this one. Uh, sorry, it, wo it, it says it works with 6 to 12 volts but I'm pretty sure it works with the 3.3 that I'm feeding here so not 12 I'm gonna feed it with 3.3 this is gonna go to the other side white wire will connect to audio and black wire will connect to ground on the other side white wire is gonna go to audio yes and now the black wire is gonna go to this other ground on the other side which is I'm not sure if you can see this here. Okay. Now, all I have to do is I'll, I'll cut this one in half here. I'll split it pretty in all three wires and then these are gonna go for the antenna so I'll print in those right now Now these three are gonna go here for the antenna. Middle pin to middle pin. Then black and red will go. one on each side and I'll have the three pins connected to plug the antenna in place and uh, this way this is pretty much done now I'll just hot glue the microphone here and put these wires all in place with some uh, heat shrink 
and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Le let me test it. So to test it, I'll just plug in the camera on this side. Plug the antenna on this side and uh, plug in a battery. Should have image on my FPV and uh, looks like okay. So now I have video on my goggles and I figure out what it was. So we're back and uh, still playing around with the this FPV system I just built and uh, I was having an issue that image kept on uh, flashing and uh, after a while I realized that this 400 milliwatt transmitter I had already built some uh, FPV transmitters with the the boss cam but with the other one, the 200 milliwatt, and for that one, 200 milliwatts, one of these, um, one of these voltage regulators is enough, because the 200 milliwatt version works with 170 milliamps, but this one, as this is the the 400 milliwatt, one of these voltage regulators is not enough because this this uh, transmitter requires 350 milliwatts so what I decided to do was to use two in parallel and uh, this way I can keep the same 3.3 volts which is what I need but I've increased uh, milliamps and now it works better just that it, it glitches just a little bit so I think I'll put three so that's why I have this one here right now okay so this is what I end up with three regulators in parallel they're only about two grams each so it's not that much I'll keep this like this just for a while then I'll buy a different regulator that powers everything by itself uh, but for now, the image does not glitch that much, I can show you. So, as you see, there's always that small glitch, but it's not much, so keep it like this.